they say we're in a banana republic. I think that's an insult uh, to banana republics across the country. I mean, at least the manager of Banana Republic, unlike our president, knows where he is and why he's there and what he's doing. Oh, my God. <laughs> at least the manager of Banana Republics knows why he's there and what he's doing. Does not mean Banana Republic the store. But Banana Republic, the political term for a corrupt government, hearkening back to Latin American corrupt governments of yesteryear, as influenced by the United Fruit Company that was able to control these governments because their main export was bananas controlled by that fruit company. Or, you know, the place where you can get khakis and they have two pairs of shoes, neither in your size ever, but you still consider it for too long. This is Bo Hines, congressional candidate. Guess who he was endorsed by? 100% full-throated endorsement. Y yes, the orange monster. Why? Because the bar keeps getting lower and lower for who our leaders should be. And all Trump wants is people loyal to him. Plus, this guy played football, which to Trump is the same as, like, winning the Nobel Prize. And this kid beat his closest opponent by 10 points in the North Carolina primary. Does Trump pick who he endorses by just one simple litmus test? Does he like me? Is he loyal to me? He is. Total endorsement. What? His brain hasn't functioned in 14 years. He's clinically brain dead. I'm still game, baby. And just the hilarious irony of him not knowing what a banana republic is and misusing the term so confidently in a sentence where he was making fun of the cognitive abilities. abilities. Oh, there goes my own cognitive abilities. Making fun of the cognitive abilities of Joe Biden is just a little bit too perfect. Chef's kiss on that. Mwah! What other terms does this guy misunderstand? I will hopefully one day become Majority Whip because I love Indiana Jones movies. How come every time a vote occurs in Congress here, they keep saying the nays have it? I haven't seen one horse in here, not one! Am I going to caucus with the Republicans? I'm sorry, I'm going to caucus by myself. Are there group bathrooms in Congress? Will I pass bills in Congress? Well, it depends how many people named Bill there are in Congress. I mean, yeah, I'd love to be on a joint committee, but I didn't know we were allowed to talk about that publicly. I thought that was kind of like after hours situation, you know? Who's the ranking minority member? Well, I mean, now that Obama's gone, I guess that would be Kamala Harris, right? I plan to get rid of the current Speaker of the House and replace it with a Bluetooth speaker. They're much more reliable. Wait, what? Unanimous consent? Matt Gates told me she was 18. Well, the president used his veto. Uh, what do you mean? Is he in the mob? What, what does this guy veto look like? What? The president might use a pocket veto. Now, look, I'm no dummy. I doubt there's an Italian man so small that he would fit in the president's. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. Check out my brand new stand-up comedy special, The Mad King, on YouTube right now. And the new season of my News and Politics podcast, Last Week on Earth, where I summarize everything that happened during the last week on Earth. Just started. So check it out. Download it wherever you get your podcasts. And I'll see you again soon.